Hey friends, today I'm gonna review Tell Me How You Really Feel by Amina May Safi. I received the knock of this through Edelweiss in exchange for an honest review and this book is released on June 11th. Tell Me How You Really Feel is a YA contemporary and it is a dual perspective. One of the main characters is Rachel and she's currently working on her senior film project and she wants to be a director, she wants to go into filmmaking and she's really pursuing that. And then on the other hand we have Sana, she's a cheerleader. She kind of is your typical cheerleader, at least that's what you think. And she has been accepted into pre Princeton, but doesn't really know if that's exactly what she wants to do and applies for this medical apprenticeship in India as well and she very much struggles with telling her family about this and though both of these characters really actually have nothing to do with each other they end up having to work together Sana kind of ends up being the lead role in Rachel's film project and throughout working together they form a friendship and eventually more feelings start and that's the basic story. Now this book is one of my most anticipated releases of the year. I've been so excited about it and I would say out of the like I don't fucking know hundred of um, anticipated releases I think this is probably in my top 10 so I was super excited about it. I love me a good hate to love romance and the fact that it is a female female romance spoke to me on so many levels. I mean Let's appreciate the cover for just a second. The cover is absolutely gorgeous and I have to say from how I imagine the characters and how they are described that's exactly what these characters look like which is so amazing and they are both women of color. Let me just get into the diversity real quick. So Rachel is Mexican and Jewish and Sana is Muslim. She is Persian and then South Asian. I think definitely Pakistani and Bengali but I think there's a lot more going on. It's never all explicitly mentioned but Bengali and Pakistani are definitely the ones that are mentioned. Both of them never use any labels for their sexuality or romantic orientation but obviously it is a female female Roman so they are definitely queer. It is really not clear at all if they like just don't want to use labels at all or the labels are just not talked about. It's not really clear if they are exclusively attracted to women but it is a female female romance. Now, as I said, one of my most anticipated releases of the year and absolutely did not disappoint. I took a little bit of time to really warm up to the story. I think that the story just needs a little bit of time. There is honestly a lot going on in this story. Both characters have like just really strong and important storylines and you kind of really have to get into both characters to just yeah, just kind of warm up to the story. So it definitely took me a little bit, but at the end of the day, the payoff was totally worth it for me. I think this is such an amazing enemies to friends to lovers relationship. One of my favorites maybe, because I just think that every stage of their relationship was so well established. Now I think that the way their relationship starts, the enemies thing, it is, something that I was a little bit like Ugh, about in the beginning and I wouldn't really know how it was gonna play out but for me I definitely think that it was strong enough. I think that the reason why Rachel hates Sana seem a little bit like over the top and it's definitely a little bit like tropey where it's like a misunderstanding but at the same time it makes so much sense and I think it is really really relatable looking at who Rachel is, looking at who Sana is, looking at how both portray, how both walk around in this world, I think that it made a lot of sense and showed an aspect of being a queer girl or a queer woman that is just very real and so I actually really really like that. I think in general it felt a lot like your very typical rom-com. It had a lot of the tropes you will find in a rom-com, it had a lot of the stereotypes but you know it is something different purely for the fact that it is two women of color falling in love and that in itself for me is beautiful to see a story that we might have seen before in a similar way but it's completely different because there's completely different struggles to the usual rom-coms we read about or we see on the TV or in theaters. There were a lot of feminist themes in this book. It was definitely dealing with 
being a female filmmaker, being a brown female filmmaker, and just in general working in the industry. It dealt with internalized misogyny and like thinking you're very feminist and forward thinking, but then someone else kind of comes into your life and opens up so many other ways that you haven't even looked at feminism before or haven't looked at certain women before. And I really, really enjoyed that. And I think especially with Sana and Rachel both seeming like some kind of stereotypes, it was really lovely to kind of, especially Sana, she, you know, she seems like the stereotypical cheerleader but we realize there's so much so so much more to her and Rachel realizes that as well and a lot of the internalized misogyny that she has and definitely also a lot of the images of what she kind of imagines queer women look like and stuff like that Sana really opens Rachel's eyes and she just really really develops even though she already thought she was like super feminist she realizes there's more to it and I, I really really enjoyed that because it felt very natural and it just felt like this very natural progression it was just super well done in general I thought that the whole novel was well done with everything that it did I thought it was very well paced thought it was well written again I love the relationship in general it had really really wonderful family relationships all of the family dynamics that we saw were so complicated so so complicated it is such a strong novel about family especially on Sana's side because she has a lot to do with her grandparents as well and they are very involved and the relationship between her mother and her grandparents and then you know Sana and her mother and Sana and her grandparents there was so much going on I was truly truly impressed with how many family dynamics we got to see how many of the negatives and the positives and again just how complicated these relationships are and how you sometimes fuck up or you say shitty things that you don't mean or things that you do mean but still you know you you love your family it was beautiful it was so so well done and honestly next to the relationship absolutely my favorite aspect I think this book is so strong for the family dynamics I really wasn't expecting to get so much out of this because it is a relatively short novel but to me it also didn't feel that way I think it had like 320 pages I don't have a physical arc so I can't really tell you but I think it has around that and there was so much in it it did not feel like a 320 page book maybe this was also because it took me a little bit to like warm up to it so I did think in the beginning some of it like dragged a little bit but at the end of the day I mean it in a very positive way that it felt longer than it actually was because there were so many good things in there and I just think again as I said I thought it was well paced and I think that goes a lot for like the conflicts and the drama we have as well I think every YA contemporary romance like needs this drama like once they are kind of like you know both aware of their feelings and they have talked about their feelings or you know both are aware of each other's feelings as well you usually have some kind of conflict or some kind of drama and then sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not so good but for me what's always important is that we don't dwell on the drama for too long especially if it's something that's like a misunderstanding or something that's like slowly but surely brewing up in the background already i just hate when books take too long to resolve that conflict or resolve that drama and i just think that with both the kind of main conflict between the characters but also the conflicts when it comes to family and stuff were all really well done and well paced and i think that is so so important because i don't mind the drama i live for the drama i just want it to be paced in a way where it just doesn't get annoying and it's not like too much sulking I just think that it made a lot of sense and I also really really loved how the book ended obviously I'm not gonna say what what happened and stuff but I think that it was a really really great ending and also where it kind of ended timeline storyline wise was just well done I just think that so many things about this novel were incredibly well done and I'm just so happy to have this kind of hate to friends to lovers relationship this kind of rom com -y feeling book between two girls it is really really wonderful and there's so many little things that you will discover throughout reading the story I couldn't even mention everything because there was so much going on and I loved so much of it it's one of those books that I just really Obviously, I mentioned a lot of things that I really like and that are really positive, but 
it's also one of those books that I just kind of fell in love with without even really realizing why exactly. It's just one of those books that just took my heart. Not by storm. It took a little bit, but it was definitely... It was a slow burn romance between me and the book as well. <laughs> but I did end up really, really loving it. And I was very emotional in the second half and had several moments that brought tears to my eyes. And that's always, always a good sign. So overall, I would absolutely recommend Tell Me How You Really Feel. It's just so much fun. It is really lovely. It made me smile, made me cry. All the good things, everything that I need in a book. I would absolutely love to hear any of of your excitement or if you've also already read the book I would obviously love to hear your thoughts on it and yeah that's all of my thoughts on tell me how you really feel I make new videos every Wednesday and Sunday with occasional reviews on Friday so click subscribe to never miss anything and hit the little bell so you get notified as well and thank you so so much for watching I guess I'll see you soon bye